Hey, my name is Christy Glass. I'm here in New York City, but I have a special visitor who traveled all the way from Spain. Oh my goodness! You are my second Span. Sp Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> well, Spanish. I'm, I'm from Argentina, but you I'm are. living in Spain. Yes. Okay, and tell us who you are. Okay, my name is Cecilia Lozada. Um, you can find me in Ravelry as Mama D and in uh, Instagram as Mama D Patterns. Yeah, I think of Ma I think of it as Mama D I Y. Yes, that's is that the what real, you meant? Yes, that's the real pronunciation. Okay, because I was like, wait, isn't it do it yourself like D I Y? That's what you meant, right? Yes. Okay. And I think I found you this past spring because I was focusing on crochet. Yes. And it was this top, even, I think, that you're wearing. Yes, this is the Copa yes. Moxie sweater. <laughs> I love it so much. And I just started focusing on it. And I started a bag that I haven't finished yet, too, like a little round. Yes, it's like this, the, the spiral bag. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have all the leather and everything, but I just need to finish it because I <laughs> am, like, so distracted all the time. I'm like, wait, what's that? Wait, what's that? So I have been following you, and I love your your work so much. Oh, thank you so much. So why don't you tell us how did it all start? Because you crochet and you knit. Yes, yes. So tell us I'm, everything. I'm a specialist in crochet mm -hmm. because I crocheted a lot of years ago, maybe 25 years, I don't know. And I'm knitting since uh, three years ago only. Okay. But I like both techniques mm -hmm. um, because I'm crafter since a lot of years. Mm -hmm. That's my only work mm -hmm. every in all my life. Mm -hmm. So I like to make things with my hands. Mm -hmm. And well, I start knitting now, and I combine both techniques all the time. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. So are you Argentinian then? Yes. And so what is the fiber arts life like in Argentina? Well, in Argentina, I start as a hand crafter mm -hmm. because uh, in South America, we um, all people know how to make things mm -hmm. with, the, with their hands. Mm -hmm. Maybe painting or crocheting, knitting or macrame. Mm -hmm. Everybody likes to do something. And we have a lot of uh, markets for, for crafters mm -hmm. in the street and you can go there and sell your things. So mm -hmm. maybe it's like a second job for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are a lot of people also who lives only with that. And so everybody knows how to make things. You mean it's their living? Yes, yes, So yes. that's their only job is making these things and yes. selling them. Got it. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And um, well, that was the way that I start. I like to make things. And one day I went to a market and sell it. And well, <laughs> and then I start traveling, selling my things. Mm -hmm. And I was traveling as a backpacker maybe two years for all South America. And then I crossed to Spain and <laughs> okay, wait. following doing things. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So when you were backpacking, were you also selling your items? Yes, that's the way that I was paying my travel, my trip. <laughs> okay, so how can you, did you also have your items on your person like you were carrying things yes in that time i was only traveling with a backpack you know as uh -huh. a backpacker mm -hmm. and in all places that i was that i was staying while i was traveling um i just went in the street and sell the things that i do with my hands yeah <laughs> so what were some of the things like and uh, that time I was making uh, a lot of macrame, mm -hmm. so maybe earrings mm -hmm. and bracelets and neck necklace. Uh -huh. No neck. Yes. Yeah, necklace. <laughs> yes, and uh, because it was less, um, it was better to travel with that in my backpack. Yeah, because they're yes. smaller. Yes, they are smaller. Yeah. And then when I um, when I was in a little beach that is called Montañita in Ecuador, I start crocheting mm -hmm. again, and then I was selling uh, bikinis and tops. Yeah! <laughs> and those are small also. Yes, yeah. yes, and there was a lot of people who buy it, so yeah. I was very happy living there. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes, yes. Okay, so that was for two years, and then you said you ended up in Spain. Yes, and then I came back to Argentina, mm -hmm. but when I was in Argentina was the Corralito. This, Whoa, what's that? Uh, it was uh, like an economical crisis. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. But we have all the time crisis in, Ar right. in Argentina. Yeah. So that was one of the many. <laughs> mm -hmm. Of the many. 
So I decided to come to Spain to see what was there. <laughs> and I established there, uh, first in Granada, in Andalusia, and now I'm living 10 years ago next to Barcelona. Mm -hmm. And I'm working from home because I have two kids, mm -hmm. very little kids. So I'm working from home there, publishing my own patterns mm -hmm. with crochet and knitting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I make classes also in Barcelona, mm -hmm. and that's all. It's amazing. <laughs> yes. So do you still do any marketplaces and make things for people, or is that? No, no, only designing in this mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I have I have a YouTube channel mm -hmm. also where I publish my English podcast English in English mm -hmm. and in Spanish. Mm -hmm. I have two versions. Mm -hmm. And all my patterns also are, are writing in English and Spanish. Mm -hmm. So, did you do any formal training to be a designer, or is this all just from um, knowing how to do this? No, in the first time, it was just because I was handcrafting so many years ago that it was just like a thing that I know how mm -hmm. to do. Exactly. For mm -hmm. experience. But then I realized when I start writing patterns, I realized that I need. Um, to take classes mm -hmm, from people mm -hmm. who knows more than me, obviously. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I start taking classes. Uh, first classes that I take was in Craftsy. That oh, and Craftsy. I, I, mm -hmm. did, yes, and I met you there in mm -hmm, Craftsy mm -hmm. online. And I take a lot of classes. And in right now I'm taking always classes mm -hmm. because I'm in, in the annual you have an annual membership to yes, Blueprint, and yes, so you can that's right. watch all so of their all classes. So all the time, I'm taking classes, mm -hmm. and then, uh, well, I buy a, a lot of books, mm -hmm. and um, I came to, I went to some festivals. So I take classes with Hoji Locatelli, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and she's the best, and also with Vera Malimaki, mm -hmm. she's the best also. Mm -hmm. But Hoji is perfect. She's mm -hmm. a very, very good teacher. Where does she live? Uh, Hoji? Yeah. Uh, she lives in Argentina. Okay, that's what I thought. Yes, yes, okay. she's from Argentina okay. also. But she, she, she moves a lot with English speakers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she has a lot of connections with English speakers. Yes, yeah. a lot, a lot. She's very professional and a very good designer. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> now, in Argentina and in Spain, which are sort of the two countries you could speak to, and yes. I mean, you've been traveling a lot. Yes, also, a lot. <laughs> Are there fiber festivals? Are there is there a community of fiber artists? Like, can you comment on, on well, some that stand um, out to you? In Spain, there this year. Well, no, no in last year we have twenty nineteen. Yes, in twenty nineteen <laughs> we have the second festival in Barcelona, uh -huh. the Barcelona Yarn Festival. Mm -hmm. Um, so it, this was the second one mm -hmm. because the first one was in two hundred eighteen. Mm -hmm. So we are starting with this. We have a, a big community who knit and crochet, mm -hmm. and now they are starting to make more things for the community, mm -hmm. and it's very good. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. just have to go to Barcelona Yarn Festival. And then uh, in Argentina also, last year was the first Yarn Festival in La, in the La Plata city that is very next to Buenos Aires. Mm -hmm. And it was totally free for everybody, including classes. Mm, wow. People go as a volunteer to mm -hmm. make classes. Mm -hmm. And I think that that was a very good point because in Argentina, maybe uh, people don't have the access, mm -hmm. uh, economical or even for the place that is very um, far away from everything. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that this is very important to connect with people mm -hmm. and to see that everybody can knit or crochet and no matter if you are knitting or crocheting with expensive yarns mm -hmm. or, you know. Less expensive. It's yes. just about the art, not about what you're using. Yes, that's mm -hmm. right. So I think that it was a very good festival. Mm -hmm. I saw, I never, I couldn't go, but I saw it all the, all the time and I think it's, it's important that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, which do you prefer, crocheting or knitting? Do you have? Uh, I like both. I mm -hmm. think that they are so different. Mm -hmm. Every technique is very different, one from each one. So it's. Mm -hmm. I like both. <laughs> so can we talk about some of your samples? Yes. Yes. Do you want to start with what we're wearing. Uh, I have this one. That oh is the gosh. Coco Boxy sweater. It's a crochet 
boxy sweater. And it's with, um, it's I love it. Here, move this out of the way because I love yes. this is my favorite part, this detail right here. Oh. <gasps> Look at that! Yes. I love it. And this is fingering weight yarn, right? No, no, this is um uh, sport. Oh it is. This sport is weight. arroyo from Malabrigo. Oh, it is Malabrigo. Arroyo, ah, no, sing, sing, Silky Marino. From, Silky Marino. From Malabrigo, yes. Because it drapes so nicely. Yes. It's <laughs> Yes, so this good. is the Malabrigo. Oh, it's in the wrong side. <laughs> it's inside out? Yes. I could never tell. But that's the nice thing about crocheting yeah. is that you really... It's, it's in the wrong it's side. It's reversible. <laughs> yes, well, and this is... <laughs> it looks perfect. No one would ever know. No. And did you make your earrings? No, this one is from Turkey. They're from Turkey. Yes, I went to I went to Istanbul oh, two years wow. ago, and these one are made by women in a community who made all these little crochet things. Granny squares. Yes. Out of crochet cotton. <laughs> That is awesome. Yes, and they have necklace and everything. Oh, Very beautiful. I love that. It's yeah. like the tiniest yes. <laughs> crochet ever. Do you ever crochet like that? The tiny, tiny? No, no, I ne never make so tiny, tiny, but I like a lot. But yeah. it's the same. Yeah, same. Only with a very uh, thin hook. Like it's thread. Yes. Okay, what am I wearing? And this is the Ole shawl. It's a flamenco show. Mm. It's made also with crochet, with yarns from Pasquale Filati Naturali. And it's beautiful. It's crochet of everything. So flamenco, talk yes, about that. Yes. So you could wear this while you're doing flamenco dancing? Or uh, no, me. no, it's just that I, when I was in Granada, in mm -hmm. Spain, mm -hmm. I learned to, when well, I went to classes to flamenco, to mm -hmm. dance flamenco. So I always have that, that, um, how do you say? Is this the inspiration yes, for the shawl? Yes, to make this shawl. Mm -hmm. What was the inspiration for this one? For this one was the, the film, the Coco film. Oh, the Coco film. Yes. <laughs> by Disney. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. Okay, what and, else? And I have more. I yeah, I want to go through all of it. This one is the last design. The latest that you did? Uh, this is made for um, now um, Melanie Berg is going to make a new line of yarns. That it's called balayage. Okay, this is um, Melanie Berg's new yarn. Yes, it's gonna be present on the Vogue Knitting Live. So this is made with mosaic knitting. And, mosaic knitting. Mm -hmm. And the yarns, balayage. It's fingering weight, everything. Oh, I love it. Yes. I love the drape of and, it. And this shawl is called uh, Amaru shawl. And Amaru means, means in Kichwa, uh, means... Um, do you say it? Serpiente? Como se dice? Snake. 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 Because the, the snake represents the, um, the world of the dead. Of the world the of the dead. Yes. Mm. <laughs> so this is the snake. Oh. And this is the part that when you are walking in Cusco, mm -hmm. in Peru, mm -hmm. you can see everything is like stones. Mm -hmm. And it's the same places where the Inca was living there, so mm -hmm. it's very impressive. Yes. Oh, I love that story. <laughs> yes. Okay, what else? And then I have this is another new design oh. that is going to be published by the end of this month. Okay. Uh, for this design, I work with Earth Yarns. Oh, Earth. Yes. yes these are the harvest oh. um, harvest worsted, and this is called Avia Yala. Uh, the name it's uh, the name that has uh, the American territory mm -hmm. before the colonization. Nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and this is knitted. Yes. Okay. This, and there is also the same version in crochet. Okay. And so is this design also from? Yeah. Keep talking yeah. about it. Yes. And this is gonna be free for everybody okay. in Ravelry. This design. Okay. It's Ten different sizes. Oh wow! Wow. Yes. Okay, and then this is the crochet version. And this version. is the crochet version oh. that is going to be published in a new book with only Latin American designers. Cool. Yes. <laughs> the, the book is going gonna to be called uh, like Weaving Latin American mm -hmm. in English. Mm -hmm. Just say it like that. How do you say it in Spanish? Tramando Latinoamérica. Okay. See, and uh, the organizers for this book 
They are called El Cruce por Vero in Instagram and my friend, my dearest friend, Kaya eh, Lanas. Okay, I will ask you for links for that. Yes. And then I'll put them underneath yes. this video. And is this, is this pattern this, inspired by what? Yes, by South America, obviously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all, the, all our culture that is very rich. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. What yarn did you use for this one? Uh, for this one, I just use uh, a Katia from Katia. It's called Merino Aran. Mm -hmm. It's not a expensive yarn. Mm -hmm. It's a mixture of 50% ac acrylic and 50% wool. Nice. Yes. Nice. Okay, what else? What else? Uh, we have this one. <gasps> Love! Okay, what's this one? <laughs> this is the Taquaripora Shal. Taquaripora. Uh, it's a... Um, it's a song that in the culture of the north of Argentina, uh -huh. uh, they make for, it's like a, ¿cómo se dice? Arrullos, arrullo. Where, where you want to sleep babies. Okay, um, like a baby hammock or a bassinet. Yes, you sing for crib. them. No, you sing. Lullaby. Yes, a lullaby song. And the song is very beautiful. I have the link where you visit the pattern. You have the link to you listen, listen to the it? song. Yes. <gasps> it's like multimedia interactive. Yes. <laughs> is this cotton? Uh, no, this is bamboo. Oh, bamboo. This is from Pasquale Filati Naturali also. Uh -huh. And it's beautiful. You see the... Yeah, the drape is so yes. nice. And it's like, I feel like I could, I could wear it in the spring. In summer also, yeah. yes. <gasps> Look how beautiful this is. I want to show the back. Look at the back. So good. <laughs> wow, that is so gorgeous. Yes, and this is another design that is called Mylen. It's made also with earth yarns mm -hmm. in a fingering weight. And uh, Mylen means in Mapuche language uh, that it's a uh, people who lives in the south of Argentina and Chile. Mm -hmm. It's our original culture. And it means uh, like a princess, mm -hmm. but it's like a woman with a lot of honor and strong, and that's the real mean. <laughs> I love that. Look at these stitches. Yes, Mapuches are uh, means uh, people of the earth. Okay. Yes, that's the name of the this culture, and I love that. <laughs> so, what is your connection to all that? Is it? Because that sounds like you're interested in history. Yes, yes. So I like a lot um, the history of my ancestors uh, before colonization. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because where colonization happens, and even these days, uh, they are all the time attacked, and um, I don't know. They don't. Um, they don't have the respect. I think that they that they should have. Mm -hmm. So all this is like an um, expression mm -hmm. that they exist and besides they, uh, they are very helpful for the ambience, for the nature, mm -hmm. they respect mm -hmm. everything. So I think that it's important to listen for them more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this is giving them voice, it's honoring, yes. honoring what was and what still can be. Yes when you like knit a pattern that yes. is in tribute to that. Yes, yes. Yeah. And in the pattern, you can find a little mention about the culture and links to videos where you can see uh, if you want to know more. I love that. Yes. <laughs> That's so great. So this one was knitted. So when you're doing these projects, I know you mentioned the Melanie Berg yarn. Yes. But is everything else just for you? It's for your business, right? Yes, yes, so, yes. Talk about your creative process. Well, <laughs> well, I have um, the office in my house, mm -hmm. and uh, there I um, I make I draw a lot, mm -hmm. and um, then I start with the samples and start for looking information, maybe from from Mapuches or from other cultures, and. Um, and it's create creation all the th all the time, all day, and yeah. in a creative uh, oh, dreamy. <laughs> yes, like yes. swatching and yes. drawing. Yes, yes. And then I, while I'm knitting or crocheting, I write all instructions that I'm making mm -hmm. at, the, at the same time. And then I, 
I write all the instructions in my computer when mm -hmm. I finish and start with the processing of testing the patterns mm -hmm. with my I have a big <laughs> a lot of women who you? yes who likes to help me in uh -huh. that way so they start testing in all sizes mm -hmm. and, and every instruction that I write and they help me a lot is the soy mama tester team Hey, soy mama! And I, <laughs> and I send kisses for all them. And then I start making pictures and everything to can publish them mm -hmm. in Ravelry. Mm -hmm. Do you have a photographer? Mm, until now, I didn't have. I only make the, the pictures and everything. I love them. Yes, and now uh, I have a friend in my town who is helping me with the pictures. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. They look so good. And you're, you do the modeling. Yes, always, because it's more um, practical. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's cheaper. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and what do your children think of all of this? Do you knit or crochet for them? Uh, yes, they like a lot. <laughs> Every time I crochet or knit something for them, they love it. And they go to school with the hat or the sweater. And when they, the, when they open the door, they say, Oh, look what my mama makes me. I love that. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's so sweet. Yes, they love it, yes. Oh, I love that. Now, do they crochet or knit? Mm? Have you taught them how to do it yet? Uh, the little one wants to learn to knit one time, and he was one week trying because he's very... He, he wants to learn things. Mm -hmm. And he told me, okay, when I, I am a big, I'm a little bigger, I'm going to try again. Mm -hmm. Because now my hands are very small. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the little one uh, learns to crochet mm -hmm. a few years ago, but he did, now he likes more maybe the, ta the tablet. <laughs> the tablet. Uh, yes. Yeah, sounds familiar. Like, likes every kid. <laughs> I was just interviewing a man who is from Spain, from yes. Barcelona. And he said that he wanted to learn as a boy, and his grandmother told him he could not because he was a boy. Yes. So is that still sort of pervasive in the culture that? Like, yes, I think that in not in not not in all not in all because when you travel maybe to Peru or to Bolivia, you can saw a lot of men knitting. Mm -hmm. But in a, in occidental cultures, maybe it, yes, you mm -hmm. can see that uh, people don't want to see a man uh, kneading or crocheting. I don't so, know why. It's so interesting. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we'll just work on that. We'll keep working on that. <laughs> just be you know, more okay with it. Yes. Yeah, we don't want our men knitting in secret. No, no, please. No, too. please. <laughs> so is there anything else you'd like to tell me about your fiber community, either online or in person, and, and maybe what you're doing here in New York today? No, I just came to visit, to visit the Bog Knit Life and to meet people and to visit friends that I make in another festivals and that's all. <laughs> it is nice to be connected now. Yes, that's you know, right. Because we've just had a little interaction back and forth and so I don't know how I figured out you were coming to Vogue, but I was like, please, please, whenever you're new, you're yes. New York. <laughs> and I just love that we can do that, you know, because of our, the internet. Yes. So <laughs> great. And I love learning from you today. Yes. So great. And I, it's motivating me because I, I need to make my, I need to make something. I okay. need to make one of these. Because <laughs> yeah, I love it great. so much, even when it's inside out. <laughs> thank you so much for being on oh, the no, channel. Oh, no, please. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Yeah, and I will put links underneath this video to everything we were talking about. And please get one of her patterns today. Uh, thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>